this video, this video has nothing all to do with When I first started back in 1989, I wasn't moving keys, I was barely moving dimes. Started coming up. Being 10 years old, about 10 years old, hearing that song, you know, I had to figure out what a stone was. I mean, I knew what a stone was, but we caught it something different way back, you know. So to make a long story short, a pocket full of stones is what it became. And this is how I went behind the bars, you know. It's very easy to go behind the bars. So I tell you a crazy story. I tell you a real crazy story. Young man, you know, well, not young man, young boy, little youth, listen to rap music, you know, hearing Bun B, pocket full of stones, and they won't leave me alone. I believe that was in that Menace to Society soundtrack album. You know, MC8's on it. A lot of individuals, a lot of imposters, I should say. Basically, these individuals um, rapped about a lot of stuff. MC8, he was known about rapping about a lot of murders. Buddy B, a lot of drugs, pocket full of stones. So being a young, a young, vulnerable. Um, child I would say now listen to that music I loved it fell in love with it wanted to be like my idols in a sense they were like superheroes real life superheroes wow these guys are the coolest guys around I want to be like these guys right here when I grow for certain oh goodness I mean, being a child your mind is not very developed so when you hear certain things, it's like you like you know, you. I mean, you believe it. Being a child, you, being a child, sometimes you probably would grow up thinking you're gonna be rich, but not really understanding or not even putting down a plan to. Okay, you want to be rich, but you're not saying what you're gonna do to be rich. You just you know, you just have this wild imagination. Me listening to Bun B, Pimsy. Pocket full of stones, and they won't leave me alone. Unfortunately, MCA, my mind got corrupted. They corrupted my mind at a young age. I wouldn't really say them, it wasn't really them. Maybe their music. Because their music definitely, definitely had a big old influence on me. Young baby, 10 years old, probably nine and a half. I got a pocket full of stones. Right now, Bun B's on the, on the stand. Old man now, crying like a baby. Breaks my heart, but it's the truth. Studio gangsters, false pretenders. But that has nothing to do with me. But I'm gonna tell you a story that has something to do with me. I remember I used to listen to rap music at a young age, a real young age. And then what happened after that? Pocket full of stones. And they won't leave me alone. What happens is like, um, you get introduced into this world, to a world where, I mean, it's a terrible thing. But at the moment where you're doing it, you're looking at it like it's a great thing. All the money that's involved in it, your, your eyes light up. Ooh. Basically selling drugs and terrible things and terrible things really like that though. It's really like that though. Right now I would consider myself at that point I was a lazy well, I was a young man. Ambitious man. I wouldn't really say lazy, but I was corrupted by individuals. You know, ten years my senior, fifteen years my senior. Or even 20 years my senior. 
you know, being a young, vulnerable child, especially if you don't have, like, you know, a, you know, both parents in a home, which was my situation, needed money. Well, not really needed money, but knowing the value of money and what money can get you. Older individuals who could tell you something. For example, older individual could tell you, you know what? Go sell this for me. Or they could even tell you, you know what? Go shoot someone. It's a crazy thing. A child's mind. Thank goodness the older individual didn't stray me down that path. They did stray me down a path, though. It was a path of... Um, or thinking about it right now, or knowing what it is right now, a path of destruction. A path of destruction, meaning... You know, selling drugs, um, corrupting the community, that path. You know, um, and seeing other stuff also. Pocket full of stones, they won't leave me alone. So going back into the 90s, a lot of individuals was indulging in, in um, like um um selling like crack cocaine and stuff like that. So you have older individuals living that type of lifestyle and what they do is um young individuals around them, especially if you're younger but you just see mature for your age, they will introduce you to that life. They probably tell you, you know what? Just to go bring this down to Tom, bring this down to Dick, bring this down to Harry. Each time around, you probably bring him back, you know, a few hundred dollars, a few hundred dollars, a few hundred dollars. You know, so you being introduced to that life without even thinking about it in a sense. Because you have an older individual say, you know what? Um, Take this right here. You don't know what it is. And, um, and bring it to this person right here. And this person will give you this amount of money and you just bring it back to me and say, okay, I can do that. I can run down the street. I can run down the street. You know, not realizing at a young age, you know, thinking about it, if you were to get caught, apprehended, you know, you go to jail, juvenile center, whatever it may be. You know, I think that's not even in your mind because you think of this older individual you're not even thinking about this older individual would even put you in type of danger in any way, shape, or form. You're just doing what that person tell you to do. You're happy to do it to help that person out. Especially if that person was a someone who you looked up to. You, you wouldn't even think in your mind, because your mind, you're young, you're not thinking about anything bad. Illegal, crooked, corrupted. You're a baby. Five years out of wearing diapers, maybe. Because you're 10 years old. You probably stop wearing diapers at five, maybe four. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe six years out. I don't know. I don't know. But you have this older individual right now. What he's going to do, he's going to corrupt you. And you're not realizing it. So you're realizing, like what happened to me. You start doing legal activities at a real young age. You know, you know who's who, who likes what, who doesn't like what. Just some older person who you look up to. Could be your cousin, could be your brother, uncle, father. Well, you know what I mean. But a lot of times it could be just be a local individual out there on the streets, a stranger. Who you just admire and look up to. Think they're cool. Oh, oh goodness, he's so cool. He has a nice car. He has a car. He could drive. Oh goodness. No top. Oh goodness. 
So, nine, ten years old, unfortunately, I came across some individuals at my old age right now, I will call them unproductive, but at the time, I will call them the cool guys. So this is how I went to jail right here for the first time. It was unbelievable. So I got introduced to the game at a very young age. I won't get too much into it, but I'll tell you about it. By older individuals, at least 10 years my senior, probably some 15. So, being a young man, I mean, not a young man, baby, well, no, coming up now, probably 12, 13 years old, they introduced me to people, let's not get into it. You know, maybe females a little, you know, older because I'm a young man, but I'm out there, I'm doing my thing. Not realizing I'm making money. Cause they, you know, they, you know, they get, they, you know, after a while from doing it for free, after a while they say, you know what, they get a conscience after a while. So you know what, give them a couple of dollars here and there. In the beginning it's all for free though, because you know, you're a kid, you just, you know, do what you gotta do. Give me a couple of dollars here and there after a while. So I might be 11, I mean, 12, heading on to 13 years old right now. I got a couple of dollars to my name, a few thousand. Still around old individuals. You know, the females that deal with naturals older. So I'm around older audience, if you know what I mean. Plus I have thousands of dollars just from doing so much, getting pennies on dollars still. But you know, I'm, you know, I'm making money, I don't have a lot. Just getting chips from the store, candies and stuff like that. Still about 12, 13 years old. So now, still doing my thing. I'm about 14, 15 now. Still doing my thing. So I'm up, I'm up now. I'm up about, you know, between 30, 50,000. 14, 15, 30, 50,000. You know, boom. Fast forward. So I'm 16, 7, 60, 50, 16 now. So these old people is about 25, 30. Okay, keep going. So I'm about 18 now. I'm up about, I'm up about 300, 300,000. Do my thing, do my thing. So, Keep going. I'm still learning about the criminal, you know, progressing. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna break some things down. So you know, I need to get into it. Even before that, keep in mind once you're making so much money, you know, you're driving around fancy cars. Um, you know, let me go back. I say, you know, you meet older people, but so older now. 18, 19, driving around fancy cars, all different type of cars, the best of the best. You know, this was before um, Bentley's was popular in Range Rover. We talk, so we're talking about Mercedes, Benz, and I mean Mercedes and BMWs, Lexuses. You know, still the best of the best. Young age, making money. You know, just from older individuals corrupting your mind and they actually help you make money too because you probably wouldn't make as much money if you wasn't, if you didn't know. So it's like one of those things. It's like a good and a bad experience. It's a good experience meaning you got a chance to see how it is to live a life if you make a whole lot of money. Not a whole lot of money, but because there's levels to making money. There's making like thousands of dollars a day, tens of thousands of dollars a day, hundred thousand dollars a day, million dollars a day, hundred million dollars a day. Talking as an older individual, but back then, no, you wasn't thinking like that. You were thinking about, at least I was, just, you know, 
a few thousand dollars a day was a lot compared to like making about um you was making basically making more than a doctor in a sense. You know, in the nineties, in a sense. Early two thousand, whatever it may be. No, nineties, two thousand. But So, making all that money, making all that money, making all that money, do my thing, do my thing, do my thing. Start off from a young age, do my thing, do my thing, do my thing. We're not going to get too much in depth, but I'm just going to explain to you how easy it is to go to jail. How easy it is to go to jail, basically, in case you wonder what this video is about. It's how easy it is to go to jail. Even if you think you're the smartest person around. There's no such thing as a smart criminal. That's basically the point of this video. Because I thought I was so smart. And I've been doing my thing since I young, a young man. Not a young man. Um, young boy. Five, six years out diapers, in a sense, if you think about it. But, um. Started making money. I mean, was making money. Kept making more and more money. To got to the point where. I started making so much money. I was making about um say about sixty-five thousand dollars every month. No, 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 not every month. Not every month. I'm sorry about that. Not every month. Let me take that back, take that back, take that back. I'm making about sixty-five thousand dollars every time I make a move in a sense. Sometimes 65, sometimes a little less, but for the most part, it's $50,000 and up. And this is how I was able to get caught up. You know, basically what happened, I was in, I was doing my things from a young age, you know, from um, 10 years old, just, you know, helping the older criminals make money. Doing whatever they want me to do. We're not going to indulge in everything. But, um. So, what happened when I got older. Um. In my early 20s. Um. About 12 years in the game doing my thing. I started making so much money. Um. I didn't have enough time. I mean, it started taking up a lot of my time, meaning I was making like, say for example, I make like $60,000, you know, I make like $60,000 at 2 p.m. And then the next thing you know, at 7 p.m. I'm making, I'm making another 50,000. And then 11 p.m. I'm making another 60,000, for example. So you're making all that money, you're making all that money, you're making all that money. To count all that money up, believe it or not, it takes a lot of time. Counting up dollar bills, five dollar bills, ten dollar bills, twenty dollar bills. If it's not a hundred dollar bills, it it's time consuming. It really is. I don't know if you ever tried. If you guys ever get a chance, go try counting out sixty thousand, sixty thousand dollars, or sixty five thousand dollars in ones and fives and twenties, tens and a couple hundreds. And try to do that three times a day and see how long it will take you. But believe it or not, it's time consuming. So what happened, I kept on making so much money. I kept on making so much money. It was hard for me to like live my life the way I wanted to live. Like hang out with people, go out, take vacations, stuff like that. So what happened, I end up, you know, you know, once you're making a whole lot of money, you're driving fancy cars, brand new cars, you know, you're in 2000. I mean, you're in 2002, for example, and you're driving a 2003 car or 2002 car. You know, it's, it's very easy to get someone's attention. They say, wow, this person's in the latest. So you realize you get a chance to meet a lot of people. I remember I met this girl, which I was looking for someone. I was looking for someone to count my money for me because I was making so much money and I just needed to be counted. 
and I couldn't do it myself. Not that I was lazy, but it was just so much coming in. It's like it was just taking taking up all my time. That's why I realized a lot of individuals hire accountants because that money's coming in so much, coming in so good. It's like it takes it's time consuming to count it, believe it or not. It's hard to understand until you experience it, believe it or not. But, you know, I recommend you guys to try it out. So you can see what I'm saying, if it's right or wrong, if it's accurate or not. But, so basically, you know, I'm making like, got to the point where I'm making about $180,000 a day. So I had to hire someone to cut my money for me. To make a long story short, to make a long story short, you know, I'm older now, I was younger then, but, well, well even now, it's kind of, well, you have to go through the right way, get a real accountant and do things, well, you wouldn't be making so much money, I mean, I mean, let's not get into all that, so basically what happened was I hired someone in my mind, I thought I was a boss. I thought I was a boss. Nothing on papers, no taxes. I'm not paying no taxes on this money. Once you're not paying any taxes on money, it's like, see, making $200,000 a year. You're probably paying half on taxes, opposed to not, so you get the whole 200000 So that's the difference right there. So, <clears throat> making all this money right here, I hire somebody, to um, you know, help me count my money. Well, not really help me count it while I go have fun and enjoy my life. You know, um, you know, it didn't really work out. That person said, you know what? Man, this is too much money. I can't be doing all this. I want more money for counting this and this and that. It gets complicated. Believe it or not, it's hard to be a criminal. It's hard to be a criminal. Especially if you're making real good money. It's hard to be a criminal. Someone's counting your money, watching your money. They're saying, damn, this person's making all this. They only want to give me this amount. They watch your money after a while. So it gets complicated. It's really easy to go behind the bars. It really is. That's what I recommend. Do things the right way. So it didn't work out for about a couple of counters. Three or four. Got to the fifth one. And the fifth one, that's when everything went bad. And that's why I had to end up, you know, end up where I ended up. So the fifth one now is basically saying, you know what? Saying what everyone else was thinking. I need a raise. You need a raise? You don't have to pay any taxes. That's what I'm saying in my mind. By this time, this person is making about, started off at about $300 a day. Not, I mean, $300 a count, not a count. A, I mean, not a day, a count. So if you count money three times a day, it would be 1200 if it was at, um, you know, at whatever. But it went up. Got to about $700 a count. Got seven, fourteen, twenty-one. dollars 21 That's $21,000 you can make in one day. That person say, you know what? You know what? I want more than greed is a terrible thing. Corruption is a terrible thing. Money is a terrible thing. If you obtain it the wrong way, and I had to learn that. So, <laughs> the point of this video right here, I ended up, you know what? That person right there who wanted the extra money, Start started telling their cousin, which is a police officer, about I know this person's willing to pay me, but I know that they had the potential to make twenty one thousand, but it never happened because it takes a long time to count that much money. You know, sometimes it's throw a little extra. They never ever was kind of able to count it three times. You know, because time consuming. You know, but let's not get too much into it. But the point I'm trying to make. So, she told her cousin. Cousin was a police officer. 
That's how I got brought down. They say, how this individual right here is able to give my cousin so much money on, you know, hourly basis in a sense. She was never able to count at all, none of them. <clears throat> Once that money's coming in good, I don't know if you guys ever count a million dollars before in one day, try it out, see if you can do it. That's taking time away from your family, counting money. Money becomes fun, but money's not fun when you have to count money. Money's only fun when you have to spend money. So that's what happened to me. I got caught up because I hired individuals to count my money for me. And they told people about it. And those other people told people about it. Next thing they say, F Service TV. So next time, tell a friend, tell a friend, here we go, here we go. They said so it's right to do things the right way. If not, it'd be wrong. Ain't you know what comes along with that. You're going to be behind the bars crying like a baby. Mm, mama, where's my mama? A lot of individuals go behind the bars and cry for their mothers. Very rarely do I hear them cry for their fathers. A lot of individuals don't know their fathers. What do I know? Till next time.